Welcome to Business Math, Business 135 here at Highline College. My name is Michael Gervin, and I'm your instructor for this class. Now, I sent out an introductory letter, and in that letter it says, Day 1, you got to read the syllabus and watch this introductory video. Now, in this video, I'll give you a tour of how we'll do things in this class. We're going to start off at our People website, and we have two websites in this class, Canvas, that's where you take quizzes and upload tests. The People website, this is where we watch our videos, download our Excel files, and read our PDF notes. Now here's our Business 135 class. We click. There's the syllabus. There's the introductory videos. And here's each section of this class. We're going to start off by looking at the syllabus. So let's click on this PDF link. All the PDF links in this class, when you click on them, they load in the browser. If you want to download the files, you right click and save the PDF file. Now at the top of the syllabus, there's a table of contents. And later, when you want to come back, you can jump to any section. If you want to look at the schedule, just click on the schedule and boom, there you are. Now we're going to start at the top. Very importantly, there's a first week drop policy. Over in the Canvas website for Business 135, in the Home area, these are where all the quizzes and tests are. There's quiz number 00 right in the Week 1 section. This is a one-question quiz with one answer to select. You must complete this quiz before Friday, April 9th at noon. If you do not complete this, you're dropped from the class. This is in accordance with Highline's first week drop policy. Now on page two in the syllabus, the requirements for this class. There's no textbook to buy for this class. That's good news. Everything we do in this class is videos, Excel files, and PDF notes. You must have daily access to a Windows-based PC computer that fulfills these requirements. Well, it's got to be a Windows-based PC computer. You must have an internet connection. And you must have Excel 2013 or later. Now, why not a Mac or a Chromebook? Why are they not allowed? Because Macs and Chromebooks are different than Windows-based computers. And because most employers require employees to use Windows-based computers, the business department at Highline is required to teach you on a Windows-based PC computer to match employers' demands. Now, for this class, since there'll be lots of Excel files and PDF notes, you can download all of your files to your laptop computer or wherever you're working at home, or you can buy a USB jump drive. Now, especially since a lot of you are borrowing computers from Highline, you probably want a jump drive so you save everything there. Then when you hand back your computer, you have all the files from the class. You also want to try to have a standard keyboard with the F keys and a number pad. When you're dealing with numbers and Excel and math, these are incredibly important. Now some of you might have a laptop that has an FN key. In order to get to the F keys at the top, like F12 for Save As, F4 to lock cell references, you got to use the FN key. And in the videos, when we first encounter this problem, I point this out. Now, accessing computers at Highline. During COVID-19, the computer labs are closed. Now, I already sent out an email before the quarter started about checking out a computer from Highline. The policy at Highline is if you don't have the right computer and you need one, you have to send an email to the help desk. And in the request, you must Ask for a Windows-based PC computer with a full keyboard and the program Excel installed on it. Now we have two class websites. The People website, that's where you have the introductory video, the syllabus. That's where all the video lectures will be in, and all of the downloadable files. The Canvas website, there will be a weekly announcement. There's a discussion area if you have questions. At Canvas, we'll look at the quizzes that you take, multiple choice, true, false. There will also be take-home Excel tests that you complete at home and then upload to Canvas. And very importantly, there's a grade section that shows you the points earned for quizzes and tests. Now, the Canvas website is open from the first day of the class to the last day of the class. 
That means if you have questions after the Canvas website disappears, you just email me. Now page four in our syllabus, the structure of the class. There is no textbook in this class. This class uses video lectures rather than expensive textbooks. Now the weekly schedule of what to do is at our People website, not our Canvas website. This weekly schedule tells you what videos you need to watch each week. So for example, here's the schedule for week one. Now for the week Monday, April 5th to Sunday, April 11th, you're going to watch video 00, which is the introductory video, and then video 1 to 7, which are the video lectures on the introduction to Excel. If I click the Back button, that's this section right here. So when I click on Introduction to Excel, there's the videos listed from 1 all the way to 7. Clicking the Back button, back on the syllabus. Now for each video, there's an Excel file and PDF notes. Before you watch the video lecture, you download the Excel file and open it. So for example, this is our introduction to Excel, and here's video number one. There's the Excel file. You download it. And in video number one, I actually walk you through all the steps of how to download, save the file, where the homework problems are in that file. And I even talk about the PDF notes. So video number one, I'll walk you through everything. The subsequent videos, you download the file first, open it, watch the video, work back and forth between the video, hitting pause, and then completing the Excel workbook. And then after you've completed the video and the Excel file, then you read the PDF notes, which are a written summary of everything in the video. So back on page four, that's how you watch each video. Now number eight here, when you're done with the video and you've completed the video exercise in the Excel file, you can try the homework problems. And I show in the video that I give you the answers to these homework problems directly next to each homework problem. Now the video exercises and the homework problems are not handed in to get points towards your grade. The video exercises and homework problems are done by you to practice for the quizzes and tests. That's how you get your points to earn a grade. Now when you're done with the video and the homework, you read the PDF notes, which is a summary of the video. After you read the PDF notes, then you move on to the next video. When you're done with all the video projects, Excel files, homework problems for that week, and the PDF notes, you look at the schedule to find the quiz or test that you should take. So if we look at our schedule, after our, we complete all these videos, there it is for week one. The attendance quiz must be completed before Friday at noon. And for week one, there's a quiz one, which is due before midnight on Sunday. The next week covers math, basics, and word problems, video 8 to 10. After you're done with all that, there'll be a test, which is similar to what you studied in the videos, an Excel file that I'll email to you. You complete it, and then that's going to be uploaded by Sunday night before midnight. Now, the attendance quiz has to be done if you want to remain in the class. The quizzes, although they can be done any time in the quarter, it's smartest to take them right after you study all the material. The Excel tests that I'll email out, if you hand those in late, you lose 25% of the points. Now, the schedule continues on, the dates, the topics, the videos, and whatever graded assignment. Now back on page four, those quizzes and test upload links are in the home area of Canvas. Here at our Canvas website, there's the home section. For week one, attendance quiz, quiz one. Week two, upload link for test number one. And when you scroll down for each week, for each section, there's either a quiz or a test upload link. Now, full details about the tests and quizzes are in the next section in this syllabus. So if you scroll down, there's information about tests and quizzes. You want to read through that carefully. Now, Canvas gradebook is not correct. What? What does that mean? It means that in Canvas, when you see your scores, the actual points, those are correct. But the percentage grade for the class is not correct because it shows you the percentage grade only for the assignments that you've completed. 
So if you're missing some assignments, that grade does not tell you the correct percentage grade. At the end of the class, I just download all the points and use Excel to calculate the final grade. And how do I calculate that grade? You can read right here how I calculate it. For this class, use email if you have a personal issue or if you have a question about a test or a quiz. You can scroll through the rest of the syllabus, reading details like incomplete policies, outlines, and so on. Now back over in Canvas, here's the announcements. I'll be sending those out once a week. That's the discussion area. You can post a question here about homework or something like that. And if you have a question about what's in the video or homework, attach the Excel file, because it's much easier for me to answer the question when you send the Excel file. Grades, you can look at your grades here. Notice there are some due dates for the attendance quiz and the actual tests. But the quizzes don't have any due dates, even though you should do them by the date in the syllabus. All right, this is going to be an awesome quarter with math and Excel. We'll see you next video.